welcome back to another exciting edition of Break Position, where four lifelong friends live We're back, baby. Dream from the comfort of their chairs. I am back, and I am still the host. So thank you, guys. We thought about we thought about voting you out. But, uh, I listened. We didn't. And I'm Joe, the groundskeeper. So 118 years ago, the Planter Nut Company came into existence. They had two options for their uh, featured food line. I'm glad they went with number one. Hmm. Plastic was better. Think about it. I did. Okay. Uh, I'm Jay Lee, <laughs> the rover. Um, I was the, your interim host for last week, but I got demoted. So here we are. Glad Maybe to be back. You're promoted here. back to the rover. No, I think that's a devotion. At least that's what the agents told me. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys got agents? What? Yeah, after last well, week. What happens in a week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Corey the stat man. Aaron, I could take a crack at that joke if, if you're still struggling with it. Yeah, I'm missing it. Well, because he said, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they went with number one. I'm assuming that's a peanut joke as opposed to a poop nut joke. Okay. Everybody uh, clap for Corey. Everybody clap for Corey. Well done. Thanks. Clap for me. Yeah, I came thanks, up with Corey. that. I did come up with that. I would like to say, and I uh, confessed this earlier to the guys, last week, that fire joke that I had, that's the only time I've, I've ripped off a joke on this show. I'll just have you know. But uh, I did steal that from Colin Mockery off an episode of The Greatest Show of All Time, maybe second greatest show to our show. But um, whose line is it anyway? I heard that the same night. I'm like, wow, I have to I have to use that. So if you missed it, Sh- go back and watch the intros from last yeah. week. Shout, Shout out to, to Colin Colin. Mockery. Come, mm-hmm. come on, yeah. pod. Dude, <laughs> that's the ultimate get right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm very confused. <laughs> you yeah, don't even yeah. have to talk baseball. He can just no, show oh, up. Oh, no. Heck no. So I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys for holding down the fort without me. Uh, like you guys mentioned last week, scheduling conflict, and then we finally got a time that would work for everybody. I got sickers, um, but we're all doing good. Um, and you also had a sick the... vacation, right? Yeah, that's right. We went to Disney World. Uh, got to take a couple days to uh, the parks. Um, dude, Star Wars stuff. Legit. Jared, you got to get down there, man. Uh, and this just became stuff. a Star Wars pod. See you, Corey. That's right. Yeah, see you, Corey. <laughs> Corey came and mock it the right way. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've got two exciting segments tonight. Uh, we're going to get our Hall of Fame ballots in um, because the BBWAA needs help. So we're going to assist them. Uh, but we're going to save all the debate, discussion, arguments, fist fisticuffs, all that stuff for next week after the results are in. But we wanted to get our votes in first. And then we've got a fun little uh, contest for you guys. So with that being said, um, if you're not familiar with how the Hall of Fame works, the Baseball Writers of America uh, hand out votes. It's a couple hundred guys get uh, the right to vote for awards and for the Hall of Fame each year. Um, and they get this ballot. You have to be retired for five years before you're eligible, and then provided you get enough votes, you get to stay on the ballot for up to a maximum of 10 years. If you don't get any votes or not enough votes, they just go ahead and take you off because there's no point in keeping your name on there. Uh, so this year, there's uh, there's quite a few names, and it's getting interesting because it's starting to be people that we've rooted for, watched their entire careers, and now they're retired. And so you realize how old you feel. Yeah. (laughs) But at any time each year, the riders can vote up to 10 people into the Hall of Fame. And so we are giving 10 votes, up to 10 votes, if we so choose, or you can give zero votes. It's completely up to you, the rider, how many of those 10 votes you hand out. Um, So I will say... Just before we say the names, let's say how many we gave. I would vote six of these guys in. Joe, how many would you vote in? I voted four. Four? Jared, how many did you vote in? I mean, I think I told you before the pod, I put I gave nine votes, but nine. I just looked at my list and I crossed off one, so eight. So he's down to eight. Somebody didn't <laughs> make don't. it in time. <laughs> <laughs> and Corey, what you did had, you say? You had the room, but uh, uh, I did nine. So I, I was the, the high nine. vote giver, I guess, there which I, I 
I would consider myself a big hall guy. Uh, big hall guy. Big hall, hall guy, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, just nice, nice oh, wide not load. quite big hall guy. So do we want me? Do you want me to list all my guys, or if I yes. say name you have? Or, okay, yes. I'm going to list all of them. So here we go. Yep. I had six. My no doubter, uh, one vote would be Adrian Beltre. Um, he's we're going to talk a lot about him, but Adrian Beltre for sure um, would be Hall of Fame. And then three guys on the hitter side of things that um, I think are going to be overlooked a little bit from time to time in the voting. Todd Helton, Andrew Jones, and Joe Maurer. I gave all three of them votes. And then I'm giving two relief pitchers a nod, Billy Wagner and Francisco Rodriguez. So those are my six votes. So, Joe, who do you got? Corey, I assume you're putting this in the agenda for us. Yep, I am. Thanks, man. And um, in case I missed it, because sometimes I stop paying attention as our pods go along, um, we're going to talk much more in depth next week when the actual Hall of Fame yeah. rules come out. So, yeah. so we're going to speed through save this, the discussion we'll... for later. Yep, yep. Um, so I will say I had two guys on the bubble didn't make it in. I'll go ahead and throw those in because I only got four total. Uh, my two bubble guys were <laughs> were Andrew Jones and Andy Pettit, and the, the four guys that I have getting in. Um, number one, Adrian Beltre, Billy Wagner, and then I got Alex Rodriguez and Manny Ramirez coming. Oh, and uh, Jerry oh, was yeah, back uh, for, uh, oh. for a week and then he left. Yeah. All right. I'm Jerry. Andrew I'm Jerry Lee, the host. Um, I'll be taking over. Oh, nope. He's back. Uh, I'll go I ahead. My Lamazda's real quick. I'm getting heated. Get, get mine out now, which. I don't know. This has been wild already. Uh, I have Beltre. I have Beltran. Um, Todd Helton, obviously, great at one of the greatest first basemen ever played the game. Great uh, quarterback and a great quarterback. Great uh, general manager and manager of the fictitious Colorado Rockies. Uh, I've got Ooh. Andre Jones, um, Joe Mauer, of course. Um, <laughs> had a sweet behind the back catch off a brick wall. Uh, Manny, A Rod, love the steroids. Uh, <laughs> Gary Sheffield, I was gonna I say, you better vote for yet. Gary then. <laughs> uh, and Billy Wagner, those are my nine guys. Okay, uh, mine real quick. Mm. Obviously, Beltre, Todd Hilton. Billy Wagner, Manny Ramirez, K Rod, Pettit. One that well, hasn't been mentioned yet, also, is Tory Hunter. He got my vote. He and last close. but not least, I got to stop saying it. Um, I think I want to say it just because uh, it makes some guy mad on this pod a lot. He's one of the greatest defensive center fielders of all time, Andrew Jones. Recognize. <laughs> So that means See, great center fielders recognize other great center fielders. Joe couldn't throw and the ball actual more than baseball fifty feet, players, so could go out in the grass. Actual baseball players understand catching a fly ball is the easiest thing in the sport. So if you're good in the outfield, whoopty freaking dip. So is my seven year old nephew. All right, next week. <laughs> oh, yep. I like it. So big difference was for the guys that had eight or nine was do you include the steroid guys or not? So that'll be a big part of discussion next week because I can't argue with them. If you would have voted for Bonds and all those guys, then, yeah, you definitely got to have these guys in. So that'll be a big, fun discussion next week. So I like it. So we all had Beltre. It's Beltre, Wagner, Hilton, Andrew. I did not have Hilton or Andrew. I know, but I'm saying, but the 75 percent, so three out of yeah, four 75%, of us would be Beltre, yeah. Wagner, Helton, oh, okay. Andrew. Uh, so four guys. Four guys that means would get in. in. Yeah, those You're four welcome. guys would get in. With which maybe and Wagner being unanimous, which Wagner surprised me. I didn't know what you guys would vote on him, so that's cool. But we will awesome. we will have much more next week. But let's move on to the main event that Joe's been. 
Yeah, Joe's in charge about... from here on out. So let's see yeah. how this goes. Well, you, you've tempered my expectations a little bit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on keeping yeah, on here. You know, I'm because excited. you know what my mom really wants to hear about is whoever you were saying earlier, well, whatever his name was. Oh yeah, I I, I, I don't know the seven string Christy, center fielder for the Mariners, but you, if I know Christy Matheson, Christy Matheson is yeah. Do you not? I'm sure Christy your mom Matheson wants is? to hear about about uh steve victorino too i believe it's shane yes yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she, hey, she uh, knows him by his nickname the fly in hawaiian actually yeah. <laughs> tabby actually knows the guy's name probably yeah. so uh anyway joe what are we gonna do here take it away am joe I, am i taking this away yeah this is your idea it literally says joe gives quick rundown oh on man Owen. <laughs> to be honest, I had not even – I usually do have the agenda, but to, to be honest, oh, I hadn't looked boy. at it. Um, but so I was scrolling, I don't know, probably Instagram or something and saw some people posting this of um, – they were doing basically – I don't know if you call it a fantasy draft because a fantasy draft is more catered towards like one season. This was more – you could build your all-time team using any players who have played – you know, and you you did it like a fantasy draft, a snake draft, whatever, with some buddies. Um, what would that look like? You know, and they were posting their all time lineups, and um, I thought it looked really cool. So I pitched the idea, and I paid these guys off to go ahead and run with the bit. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I got I got three and a half pages of undeniable oh data that proves I will easily have the best team. But listeners, as we go through here, maybe think of. You know, we're going to do a snake draft, so uh, maybe think of your big board. Maybe think of certain positions where you know you want to get a guy. But we're literally doing, like, I mean, if you think your college roommate was the best left fielder you ever saw, you could draft him and put him in left field. Um, you know, oh, can't. That changes everything. Hang on. I'm doubting he's better than Barry Bonds, but <laughs> if you think so. What if he was Barry Bonds? So, yeah, yeah. we're going to go through here. This – this could be quick. I doubt it's quick because there's going to be a lot of a lot of back and forth. But Joe, I think it'll be I, fun. I just want to. I just want to preface this. I've done multiple baseball drafts. I've done yeah. multiple football drafts with you. Um, it, it, and we ain't got no timer. We ain't got no timer. <laughs> yeah, I they, hope. The, if I hope you're a half. five second time limit on this. Like we're gonna be here all night. Corey, you got that. Uh, you got that RNG set up for us with this uh, draft rules. Let I'm me. not first. So, I'm, I'm logging out the pod. So <laughs> here's what we have to we have to claim numbers. I was going to do it as 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 how we get introduced. So Aaron was going to be one, Joe was going to be two, Jared three, and I'll be four. And then I've got this uh, random sequencer that's going to uh, basically let's see here. Are you going to keep track of the picks as we go along? I will. Yeah. So <laughs> I was going to. It's gonna it's share my screen. Random, because we. Oh, so, okay, so we can see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Gonna be so like, I'm hmm. gonna. So I'm gonna generate random numbers, and then it's gonna give one so this through is first four pick? and a random number. Well, it's gonna give. Oh, it's gonna give the whole order. Oh, so like, if order. if a okay. three is first, then Jared has first pick. So it's gonna give one through four in a random order. Okay. Are we ready for the reveal? I think this is how the NBA does it. Yeah, I think so. Go 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 go. I'm so excited. So it's Aaron, Corey, so last pick. Jared, Joe. Yes. <laughs> that was Joe's last. This is oh, dumb. Oh, man. What oh, was that man. again? Aaron, Corey, Jared, Joe? Yes. And so we're doing Aaron. eight fielding positions plus a DH to give your lineup. Three-man yep. rotation, three-man pin. Yes. And we can draft based on any stat or strategy. Yep, it can be. They, were they had one really good year, which there's a few people on my list that had one really good year. So we know can that we team pit, will struggle. Can we put Big Poppy in the outfield? No, they no. have to have like it, on Baseball Reference the position that you pick them for had to be like their primary position for. Uh, at well, least I don't know about primary. Come on now. That, I mean, there's plenty of people. He's a pro athlete. I'm sure you can figure it out. There's a we have the right years. to veto. Three three people could veto somebody's pick if it doesn't fit that position. I'm good yeah, with that. Fair. That's All fair. Because right. my first pick is not his primary position. 
Okay. So well, I veto gonna... immediately. <laughs> All right. Drum roll. Oh, man. I got pressure now. I got to make everybody wait. Who am I going first? Uh, so I'm playing the positional game, and I think this position is crucial to grab a stud at right off the bat because there's a big drop off. And so my first pick is shortstop Alex Rodriguez. That's fine. Take him off my board. He was third know. on my shortstop list. He was. He I'm was going for over. 500 plus homers at every position. That's my goal. <laughs> All right, me. Uh, so Poppy's played second with my second pick, <laughs> or with the second pick. No, in with the draft. your first pick. My first pick, the second pick. I'm going to go with left fielder, Barold Bonds. Barold? <laughs> yeah, I think that's his name. <laughs> That's his, uh, that's, his fir- that's his real first name. Okay, well, so Barry Bonds is still on the board then. Yeah. No, no, that's... <laughs> dibs! Dibs on Barry! <laughs> uh, Barry Bonds. Left field. Okay. Um, man, you guys... Two Reuters right off the bat. Was, I'm proud of you guys, I was going to go with certain... I was going to go with a certain strategy here. But I think I'm just going to take one of the obvious. And, I mean... Give me Albert Pujols. Like he's my first one baseman first in the baseman. first round. That's a lot of first basemen, but he's he's the best. And in the absolute surprise of the century, the absolute steal of the draft, the absolute so, 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 mind, so. Christy Matheson, the absolute mind numbingness <laughs> that this brings me that this guy is still here. Fernando Vina, Joe West. <laughs> I will take. <laughs> The great Bambino, Babe Ruth, with the fourth overall pick. Yeah, whatever. You we got to play defense in this league. <laughs> you can't All defense right. a homer, and he'll pitch. <laughs> you got hey, the wraparound. You're, yeah, you're up again, dude. Hey, you're on the clock again. Oh, Shelly. This is the um, worst spot for Joe. We got to wait for him twice. He's already lost. Oh, I got three pages of people. Oh, crap. Four picks in. I don't know what to do. I lost my little field here. I got to type in baby. He played left or right. He's he's playing right Right. today. Yeah. Okay. And in similar fashion to Cooney's description of this position and then a big fall off. Mmm. Pains me a little bit, but see this hat I'm wearing right here? That's St. Louis Cardinal. Just get to it. There's a debate to be made that, I mean, he is he's probably top three Cardinal all the time. You know, he did play on a few other teams. We're going second base. Second baseman in the second pick? Yeah, we're going second base. Rogers Hornsby, far and away the best second baseman to ever play the game. Um, So, Rogers Hornsby, baby. You, Man, you I know love that, that just pick. being a bad pick? Yeah, that's not I even on my board. Second, but we'll just... wasn't even on my board either. I'm not worried about it. I guess you guys don't know what stats mean. You play by field. Oh, I do because with my next pick, talk about a huge fall off after this. Give me the best closer of all time, Mariano Rivera. Okay, that's worse than my pick. It's not. Yeah, like that's picking a kicker in the second round, dude. <laughs> dude, have fun having relief pitchers. Um, <clears throat> kickers win games, baby. I got Ryan Franklin, baby. With yeah. the Mitchell Bog, exactly. Brad Franklin, and Taylor Johnson. <clears throat> With my second Tyler. pick, I will take center fielder Mickey Mantle. Wow, that's who's, like the 10th best center fielder. Okay. Who's, mm, who's, that's who's a, Mickey Mantle. I mean, I hate to say you reach for Mickey Mantle, but you reached for Mickey yeah, Mantle. Yeah, you reached for Mickey Mantle. Gosh, okay, listeners, ridiculous. listeners, I'm going to go ahead and say something here. It could be the best pick of all time that. All of us can make, and we're gonna bash it. I just, I just oh, want yeah. that to be prefaced. So, hundred percent. I mean, you. But you did pick a closer round two, so we're bashing that no matter. Who what. cares? You guys ain't gonna be able to hit nothing. <laughs> nothing. Is he, gonna, is he gonna pitch nine innings? <laughs> I, I haven't picked my starters yet. Yeah, have I? <laughs> hey, they do say good pitching beats good hitting, but I don't know. All right, I got Roger. Ready Holmes for beat. this? This is where you got the wraparound. I got this super secret pick that's going to dominate your faces. I think I can save it. Uh, so I'm going to the outfield then. Play the numbers game here. And grab 
two studs that okay. I mean I can win by by myself Corey, with these two guys. So Hank Aaron, the greatest hitter of all time, is going to be out in right field. Can't believe I got him in the eighth. Is pick. that his? Is that his primary? Right field. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. I didn't want to have to be. And then it. Uh, my wraparound <laughs> pick. My <laughs> my wraparound pick is going to be Willie Mays in center. So, nice. I mean, mm, that's tough. That's tough. So I don't know what you do with Mickey Mantle. God. Um. Thank you, though. Just... Let's just uh I, I've yeah, got the next the pick, so I can wait yeah. here for a little bit. But uh oh wait a second. Mickey Mantle had a, a vastly superior OPS plus than Willie Mays. OPS plus, you can't even spell that. Yep. You're right. <laughs> um with the third round pick, I am also going to, to play the positional game and take my first shortstop on my board, Mr. Cal Ripken Jr. Nice. Who's that? Thought he'd be gone already. It's, um, Bob's brother. What's his name? Bob Ripken. Billy, Billy Ripken. Yeah. Let me get a bat and write some words on the on the knob. You know it's that, but you don't know his name. That's, that's yeah. Name. It's my pick. Sorry. It is your pick. <laughs> um, we did. Did we agree upon that your DH could be anybody? Right. Yes. yes. It, yeah. Okay. I'm not picking my DH. Yeah. You should grab a shortstop just so Joe doesn't get one. Take two oh, shortstops. Wow. I already got my shortstop. I'm gonna grab. I mean, this grab a is, shortstop DH. If I didn't pick this guy for my love for him, then I might as well just not ever play any fancy draft ever. But Daniel Descalso, write it in, guys. Give me. <laughs> that's later. Give me. That's my DH. Give me Ken Griffey Jr. Griffey, nice. Where are you putting him? DH or not for sure yet? No, center field. Yeah, no, center field. Silly. Joe, fire away. Two picks. <laughs> number two on my big board the legitimate best hitter of all time easily backed up by all facts that are that are present Etro? if i drafted him if he hadn't lost three years due to to the war yeah he had to go fight a world war in the middle of his uh illustrious career thank you Corey, for already typing it out ted williams um, will be my second outfielder and I couldn't left be field. happier about that. Yeah, no, where you placed him. Don't tell him where you don't tell him what position you play. Yeah, le- no, left field. I still gotta get a center fielder. Probably oh, I saw Chris my Dunn. catcher, Ty Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got another pick, Joe. Oh, Are you for real? Yeah, oh, every time God. you that pick, was... you pick twice. He's... Man, I was so happy. For the record, pick. Joe rants about how snake drafts work. Every chance he gets, and yet he doesn't understand how snake drafts work. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, it's a good pick here, too. You want to talk about a drop-off after this position. Let me double-check my big board. Yep, everybody is going. So you waited until your third pick to, to pick your number two guy? Is that what you just said? Yeah, because that drop-off on second from Hornsby is ginormous. You guys shouldn't even pick a second baseman because it's irrelevant. Uh-huh. Oh well, big poppy's playing second. Also Soriano. Okay, <laughs> playing. I did that. Third. Soriano. Playing mm. at third. Playing at third. Big dogging both the defense and the offense. Power, rocking a stash. Scott Rowland. I thought you were going rolling. Schmidt. Uh, Mikey Schmidt. Mm. That was my next yeah. big pick. Big drop off. Don't even my, take a third. My, he was my fourth third baseman. So, whatever. He was my second, actually. Okay, okay, Mickey one. Mantle. Corey's third baseman is probably a Ramos Ramirez. Yeah. Um, question. It's Patrick Wisdom, but whatever. Matt <laughs> Sorry. When looking up a position, <laughs> uh-huh. and it just says outfielder. Where you could, I say you play outfielders wherever you want, but we're going to rip you if they can't play defense. Well, I mean. If you look up on Baseball Reference, they should have positions, unless it's yeah. from like the tens of the nineteen hundreds. Just because they play left doesn't mean they ain't play right. I'm okay. I I think me and Corey talked about making them play the position, but I'm okay with having outfielders anywhere. Like I think there's a okay. distinction between center field and the corners. Um. So, and you already have a center fielder, so what? I can't put Andrew yeah. in my left field and have the best outfield of all time. Nope. Sorry. I bet he played there once. And sorry, I I got all confused. Do I? I just have one pick or back to back picks here. You just have one. I just have one. Just Me one. and Joe get the back to back. Damn. 
makes it a little bit tougher. No, it doesn't. Show me Randy Johnson. Yeah, I like it. Hate it. I was I was also going to start my rotation off here with the Rocket, Roger Clemens. I like it. You're starting to get into my big big board. <laughs> All right, so we got one third baseman off the board, so I feel safe there. Second base, we still got top four ones out there. Because oh, I'm telling Joe you, if you, don't pick, if you don't pick the third baseman you want, I'm I'm taking him, just to spite you. <laughs> oh, you can have Chipper. Mm, he says that guy's a boy. Why wow, mm-hmm. did you hear that, Larry? <laughs> he got his face on his underwear. Yeah, it's Larry right there. Um, all right, window, so your neighbor, your neighbor's name is Larry. Hey, Larry. yeah, you see, he stared at me through the window. <laughs> He's just hanging out right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, do I want to go? All right. Well, if we're doing specific outfit positions, stall for a second. I need to look up a guy. Uh, if only somebody had their notes. Yeah. Well, I I wasn't doing specific outfit positions, so that's my fault. If you were here last week, you would have heard that discussion. I listened to that twice. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah he, got he, left field. he does have second base. So how if a guy plays at least three years at second base, that counts second no. base? Is that his primary? Is it the primary position for that year? I'm assuming it's a 20 year yeah. career. So no, that does 628 games at second base. Oh, is that Alfonso? No. Oh, no. Is it Robin Young? Like- how no. many total games in his career did he play? He played 900 at first, 670 in left, 630 oh. at third, 630 at second. Pete. Wow, I'd say you can just play him wherever you want. <laughs> all right, Pete Rose, and I'm t- taking him. Second base. Yeah, The greatest hitter of all time at second base, Roger Horsby. Yeah. Hey, if I played for 60 years, I would have the most hits in the league. That doesn't right, mean so anything. I was going to put Pete Rose in left, but he's playing second now. So give me a second. Still I mean, he's such game. a he's such an average player. You can put him wherever. Ted Williams is gone, right? I didn't scratch him out. Yeah, he's Ted a Williams is gone. best hitter of all time. And if you make a pick, someone else has already picked. You have to forfeit that pick. All right, Joe, let's go. Let's make a pick. Not actually Joe, but oh. Joe. Well, Joe no, and, it's, it's me. Not, it's me. It's Aaron. I, I it's just taking forever. Yeah, you guys make it be pick specific outfielders. So I'm checking checking my outfielders to see who's eligible. Uh, this is really riveting. Can we can, can, can did, cut did the Pete Rose make here? anybody else's board? No. 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 Okay. The greatest hitter of all time. That's stupid. All right. I don't well, think I, I'll just I don't take think I, uh I'll take my pitcher then right now, my number one pitcher. I mean, he literally changed the game. They changed rules because of him. Bob Gibson. How oh, dare you Lord. guys for letting him drop to me? Hey, uh, I'll take I'll take my second pitcher then with a Mr. Pedro Martinez. Mm, wow, thirtieth best Pedro. pitcher named Pedro. No, Prime Pedro is is as good. Did as they Clemens change the mound because Randy. of him? They did not. All right. Just checking. I got to find a left fielder. I got two well, I just, for you. I'll text I you I just one. Found, I just think I found mine. Give me Stan the Man. Is he left field? Just says outfielder. That's what the question I asked. Yeah, I think he's left. But... Here, I'll text you a name. Huh? Do, wait, so do I have to have a left fielder or could it be outfielder? I thought I we was... decided it, it, it could be outfielder. That's why I, I was taking so long. Oh, okay. There's plenty left. Uh, I could probably look up where he actually looks at me. I think he was left field. I think he probably was. Okay. Well, for the sake of the pod, that's uh, that's my pick. He was Moving left on. field, left field, third base, right field. He could have picked any of those. Center field. I could have put him at third base. First base. Sorry, it's a three. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I'm like, baseball wait a numbering minute. works. Like, he did not play third, but okay. Uh, Joe, you got two. Rapid fire. I got two, huh? Yep. Oh, man. Rapid fire. That's a joke. Um, 
considering I don't think any of y'all are going to take any of the pitchers I have on my board, I feel like I can wait to the last three picks because everybody knows Cy Young was horrible. Um, so let's go with um, Billy Bob. Oh, man, guys, I don't know if I can do this. What do I need? Well, you got two picks. So nobody's going to steal his first one from you. So if I, if, if, whenever you're ready. Okay. Well, the dude has 151 war. So I, I, I don't feel like I can take the second guy on my list, which I honestly would like to do. But this guy, who's debatably the greatest hitter of all time, center fielder. I, I know I got six. I have the six. Greatest hitters. Anyway, it's Ty Cobb. I'll put him in center field. He played center field. So, I mean, my outfield is just a little bit of Ted Williams, Ty Cobb, and Babe Ruth. Oh, they can't play defense. We're scoring 42 runs a game. We're all scoring 42 runs a game. <laughs> no, nope. ain't nobody scoring more than me. I've got Roger Clemens and Pedro Martinez so far. <clears throat> okay, well, you with my second pick, or with my next pick of round six, I will go with a guy who threw um, it's the all times career leader in shutouts. He had a few 110 shutouts, won 417 games, and his name is Walter Johnson. What cool. team did he play for? Without looking. Uh, Tigers? Yeah. Great pick. Didn't even know who he is. <laughs> Where did you sort of the stats right? column? Sorry, I took your catcher in Ty Cobb. Uh, yeah, the Washington was, Senators. They moved to Detroit, though, after they played in Washington. That was his second pick, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're up. up. All right. Um, I'm trying not to give the last picks because these are ones that I know that I know you guys won't pick. And... They're just my some of my favorite players, so like I'm not worried about picking those people because I know you guys won't pick them. Um, but they're give me give me Chipper Jones. So just gonna do it. Horrible pick. Don't care. <laughs> um, man, I feel like so, Jared. You don't have a right fielder yet, right? Everybody else has right fielders. I don't have wow, a right fielder done. or a shortstop or a second baseman. All right, so I got right field I'm feeling pretty good about. Um, I will go with a man we talked about in this episode at third base, Mr. Adrian Beltre. Oh, I was going to grab you just so you couldn't get in third base, but I was going to take a third base, but for my DH, too. Oh, I got, I, got, I got plenty of third basemen still on this list. There's only four really good ones. There's two more. that uh, I got three on my list. That's fine. I got I got four at every position. You can't face me. True. I could if I took an extra one as my DH. Mm, I put True. It. All right. So third base is set. Everybody's got one, but I want this guy as my third baseman. I don't want him to lose him as a DH. So I'm going to go Eddie Matthews. You guys never remember Eddie Matthews, but he's a beast. On purpose. I don't remember him on purpose. <clears throat> like Second Walter most Johnson. homers as a third baseman to Mike Schmitty. Uh So then we're going, I don't have first baseman yet. It's a lot of good first basemen. Really? Catcher. Maybe I go catcher, and two catchers. So eat that up, maybe. Hmm? I got Michael Barrett in, the, in my back pocket for his punching I, ability. I love my catcher pick, and you guys are going to go crazy when I pick him. But I know I could get him later. So, Is he left-handed and uh, in, in Irish? He's Scottish. Um, Top of the morning to you. Then let's just go... Let's go Nolan Ryan. <clears throat> nice pick. Oh, he's on my list. Seven no-nos. You can't argue that. Gibby and Ryan. Good luck, Babe Ruth. <laughs> Babe Ruth, you see nothing over 70. I'm going to dip into the reliever pool in round seven with Mr. Eric Gagne. Mm. Eric Gagne. 
Let me look up his career. He Just had look, three look, good years. And that's all you need. Give me Dude, these guys. The, give me these guys. The rules the prime if we're going years. off their best year. Yeah. It could still be a no, horrible we're pick. Off, Fitz, we're but still could be a horrible pick. <laughs> Can't argue that. Are you back to me yet? Jared. No, that's me. One second. Ooh, Gagne. Peak year, 0.69 whip. Nice. That's what they call One that. One year. That's all I need. Well, he's My not last... pitching that year. Sure, he's he is. Not, not 2003. I don't care about careers. Um... I know this ain't on all any of your guys' boards, but one of the one of my favorites, Roberto Clemente. I like right. it. A right field wide open for me now. I'm loving that. Someone stealing his uh, DH. I know. I know. It's true. Who's that? Me. Mm-hmm. You got two. Well, you know what they say. Chicks take the long ball? That's true. And this guy didn't give up too many of those. They also dig the W. Actually, they probably dig the W over everything. So uh, let me spell this guy's name right. I can pull up his stats here. I don't know how to spell his name. S-M-I-T-H. So... The winner of 373 games. Possibly the greatest postseason pitcher of all time as well. See, I looked up postseason stats because you need to know how these guys perform in the clutch. You're not going to be in there. You guys yeah, didn't think of that. You, you got to make think the postseason. Of that, so. so this guy, possibly the greatest pitcher of all time. We're going to go with Christy Mathewson. Number two starter, baby. What team oh. did he play for? He played for the. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look right at my webcam as I don't look over here. He played for the New York Giants. Oh, uh, how riveting! Sorry, recency recency bias, Colbert. Hey, Joe. Guess what? You're up again. It's your pick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, for my. D, I, I'm gonna go. No, I don't. I won't go DH here. I'll go. I guess just first base. Let me look at my sheet here real quick. That's like picking a defense in the first round. Yeah. So I got two. I got two guys left on my big board. I don't think I'm gonna take one. You want me to say who that is? All right. Well, I'm gonna take this guy for my DH. But wait a second. Do I actually want to flip this right at the very end? I can't. I don't care if these guys are a thousand years old. This is the best first baseman. You think about that? Yeah, I'm still correct. This is the best first baseman that played. Yankee, Lou Gehrig. Look up the stats. Undeniable. Lou Gehrig will play first base for me. My two first basemen are off the board, Pujols and Gehrig. That's kind of the only position that's getting kind of decimated here. Not loving it. Do, 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 do. do I got another pick? Nope. No. You don't get three in a row? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Um, all right, you know, I think we're all taking uh our pitchers we're thinking of the heat, we're thinking of attitude. Uh, jerk. My guy my guys throw 70. And uh I think we're gonna slow it down a little bit. No. <laughs> one of the some of the greatest of all time of all those pictures, Mr. Greg Maddox. Oh! Gosh darn it. <laughs> that was gonna be our next one. It was my next one. <laughs> Gibby Ryan and Maddox. Come on now. Gosh darn it, Jared. That's what good GMs do. They steal your picks before you get them. Jerk. Um boy. You know what? I'll take I'll take as a reliever Mr. Greg Maddox's teammate, John Smoltz. Nice. Look at these guys at close for three years. Oh, <laughs> Like, right, John so Smoltz was a great reliever. I don't know what you're going to be about. He was amazing. I'm just saying. Three three years. Um, I don't care. I'm going to jump careers. on the first baseman 
train here before they all go because there's one more absolute beast out there who's ding, right ding, there with ding, Gary. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, Jimmy Fox. Yeah. Jimmy Fox. Check his stats out. Better than Garrick. Looking Joe spoke too soon. Uh, oh, Tigers. Lull. I don't know if it's Tigers. No, I'm guessing it was. <laughs> oh, he can be say he caught too. So there we go. <laughs> uh, he's got he was it. for Boston, by the way. Lou Gehrig? How many games did he catch? I'm not moving him to catcher. I think, you've already, I think you've already submitted your pick. 108. Yeah, pick. Hey, hey, we move in. people around. 108 games at catcher in his career. Is that no. Yeah, 108 games for 110 innings. No, that doesn't count. Uh, all right. So then I got – man, I mean, that's the best. That's the best fielding team. So I can't move Rose to left field if I want to later? You're telling me I can't do that? I don't, there's not really any rules Why? here. <laughs> oh, you just yelled at me. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes. I think you should have to keep it where you drafted, in my opinion. But we're, I mean, we're bending too much here, boys. Very official game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with uh, the fourth all-time and strikeouts. Ryan's off the board. Johnson's off the board. Clems is off the board. So this guy is the leader in the clubhouse with 4,136 career strikeouts. Steve Carlton. I like Steve, that. he play for? Phillies. And the Cardinals. Phillies. Um, I'm a little six torn seasons with Cardinals. on what direction to go here. I'm going to take Bryce Harper. He's at two MVPs. <laughs> uh, actually, hey. it's second base. Hey, on my board, <laughs> Bryce Harper. He's on there. At second base, I will take Jackie Robinson. Jackie this. Robinson. Steal in the uh, uh, ninth round. Steal the draft? Probably. Nobody makes a joke here. <laughs> Jared, you're up. joke to be made no it's got really quiet when we said jackie yeah. robinson's day we found every other player and every other no, that's, that's the, <laughs> that's we say the, jackie robinson that's Silence. the respect that, that was jackie that robinson was that was respect, that's the respect not fear. for mr robinson uh give me trevor hoffman you can have him trevor rosenthal yeah he was on my board i marked him off <clears throat> so we're back to me right yep um, so kind of the reverse of what I said about Matthewson being money in the playoffs. Not exactly say this guy's money in the playoffs. <laughs> Don't take but you have to you do have to balance it out. But to give my give my team a little um, modernity, um, I'm gonna go with. Clayton Kershaw. No. He was on my board, too. Nice pick. Yep. I mean, again, we can be upset with the picks, but you can't be upset with the numbers that show how amazingly great he is. Yeah, if he's bad in the playoffs against Yachty Molina, then he's going to be bad in the playoffs against Willie Mays Hayes. (laughs) Yeah, Wesley Snipes on your team? (laughs) Oh, I got another pick, don't I? Yes, you're still you up. You sure do. Every time. He'll figure this out by the last round. Like, so oh, we're, we two picks. we're we're only doing three starters. Is that right? Yeah. Three starters, three relievers. Okay, I'll take my first reliever in Craig Kimball. Good pick. My relievers are all going to be fighters. It's going to be great. I like that. Rocker Farnsworth. <laughs> And Albert Bosky. <laughs> they they aren't actually to, there to relieve. <laughs> too afraid to get a hit off them because you'll get knocked out. They're actually going to start getting a fight with Babe Ruth and then not very good. The, I don't, I don't need um, relievers with Gibson and Ryan and Carlton. My go here. Where do I go? I think I'm... Corey, you still have to take a shortstop? Nope. I got I got Cal Ripken Jr. I think do you, sure. both, do you both have your shortstops, yeah? 
A Rod and I don't have one yet. I'm not worried about who you're gonna take. It'll be <laughs> someone from be someone from 1892. <laughs> we Rabbit started there, in uh, 1897. Uh, for my last reliever, give me K Rod. Now that's a bullpen. Woo. Woo. That's a bullpen that's getting lit up. Um, <laughs> not even once. So I, I was gonna take as a reliever Young Young Kim, but I'm gonna pass on that <laughs> and take Billy Billy goodness. Wagner to round it out for me. I'm up. I had Billy on there, and I, so I, I marked him off. A DH catcher and three relievers. So my DH then. I don't. Has Manny been picked? He hasn't, has he? I don't know. Has he? All right. Manny is going to be my <laughs> DH. Which one? The dinosaur off of Ice Age? Pena. Yes. Manny, Manny Ramirez be my DH. Who am I missing? Oh, I'm missing a left fielder still, too. I'm mm. disappointed in you, man. There should have been Why? one pick for your DH. One pick only. He was a brave. Julio Franco. Mr. Dan Ugla, dude. That should have been your pick. All right, so my catcher, I'm coming in hot with this catcher because you guys are probably going to veto it, so I'm going to get a different catcher. Um, I'm going with the one and the only Bob Gibson. 800 career homers. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Josh Gibson? <laughs> Josh. Josh Gibson. Sorry, I said Bob. I got, I, got so <laughs> yeah. I got so excited. Josh Gibson. Sorry. Josh Gibson. 800. I was like, why is everybody looking? Everybody's what looking. team did he play for? Because everybody's very excited. Uh, Kansas City Monarchs? I don't From remember. From what year to what year? Uh, 30s through 60s. I don't know. If I'm you, doing Josh Gibson. Was... 800 career homers. It's 373 batting average. If you were to tell me all these numbers, I, was, I wasn't going to veto it, but I am going to veto that. Why? Also, you said the wrong name too. I also did. That, I already got Bob. I, Bob's on my team. He He's was, calling yeah. Josh. He. I was going to take Josh Gibson, so I'll I'll allow you the air in first name. Good job. Thanks, man. You guys uh, combining your teams after this or what? Uh, Joe, this is a competition. Said something nice to me. What just happened? I feel I feel dirty. I was hoping nobody else would would think of that. I am going to. I don't need. I can do. Well, I'm glad I grabbed him there. I guess. DHs. I don't know about 800 homers. Where are you getting those stats at? He's known for 800 home runs. That's the. He has that's 166 official home runs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, unofficially 630. I'm gonna yes. solidify and my. He hit the ball. Field. What 700 feet or what did it say, Jared? Do you remember? I'm listening, Corey. It was like 700 and 600, 762 feet or something like that. Yeah. Something crazy. All right, Corey. I'm gonna, Go ahead, Corey. I'm going to solidify my Corey, you're of, speaking. Of Barry right. Bonds, Mickey Mantle, and Ichiro Suzuki in right field. I like it. I it wasn't on my list, but... I mean, Pete Rose is better, but whatever. That's not true. Think of how many hits Ichiro would have if he played as many seasons as Pete Rose. If you add his Japanese stats... To his MLB stats, Pete Rose still hasn't beat. Was that the same you know amount who, of bats, same amount of games? Pretty close. You know who has two thumbs and doesn't care about Pete Rose? Well, you're not good baseball talker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least I'm a good normal talker. You're though. so good at English as well. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, all right, back to me. Um, yes. Joe's instantly going to hate this pick, so I'm just going to get it out of the way. And probably most of you on this pick, but you can't deny a champion. Give me Derek Jeter. Oh, Corey's the one going to hate that pick. <laughs> I don't mind it. Worst shortstop in the world. Mm, that's crazy. Talk to his rings. Could have been like a good second baseman, maybe. No. So um, I got... That's So we're wondering what Poppy looks like at shortstop. That's what you have, Derek yeah. Jeter. Well, well, I would have took Poppy at shortstop then. Well, you, if you wonder what Poppy looks like at shortstop, you're going to wonder what this guy looks behind the plate. And we got to see it for about mm, 18 years. Nobody cares about defense. We're hitting. That's why I picked I pick the obese version of Babe Ruth. Don't care. He's still going to hit 60 bombs. This guy behind the plate. I want a Gibson. Props to Cooney for coming up with that. Um, but I will take 
I don't even want to say probably because it's such a for sure ski. The best hitting catcher ever, Mike Piazza. Oh, you have yeah, Piazza. Piazza and Gibson both hit home runs every fifteen at bats. About the same. Only Gibson could actually play defense. Yeah, you watched the person. Were you yeah. there? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Oh, no, Piazza couldn't. I was there for that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched him. I think I've told this before. I watched him argue with the home plate umpire as the Cardinals ran around the bases. It was one of the funniest things ever. Was That might have been at our Saki game. I don't remember. But um, Okay, okay, okay. Um, So I need a shortstop, a DH, and two relievers. Sure. Um, I don't and think anybody's going to take my DH. Everybody's got mind. their shortstop. So let's go to the relief pitchers. If you're calling Jeter that, yes, everyone has their shortstop. Let's go to relief pitchers. I think I might get a little hate for this, but the dude's money. He's a current player. Um, Josh Hader. The stats. The stats don't lie, baby. Don't do any quit stealing my thunder. I didn't do that with you and Gibson. I didn't say that. This guy shares a name with with uh, Gibson, not Bob, but Josh, and his name is Josh Hader, baby. Yeah, Bill give Hader. That, give me that lefty. Yes, it's Bill Hader's brother. <laughs> okay, Hader. that'd be awesome. Good pick. He yeah, was fine. That was your second pick. Yep. He probably should have been on my list instead of being young Kim, but he wasn't. This is if we're going off of just a couple of dominant years. So current pitcher. Give me Justin Verlander. Yeah. That's good too. Let me is mark it? him off. <laughs> Baron Kershaw. Um I well, am gonna grab my statistically. I am going to grab my DH and go with the best hitter to ever play the game in the 12th round, Tony Gwynn, where he That's should be say, as a DH. I thought you were going to say Tony Womack. I was going to say Sammy Sosa. <laughs> that was my, that was, that was uh, 1B. He was uh, also 1B so... for right field. I forgot to have left fielder, so Manny's going to be playing left field on this team, and I'm going DH. Joe, who, who am I? Who am I? You're taking my guy. Uh, yeah, me? baby. Don't, no! ex don't extend. Give me Big Mac oh, at my DH. No way. Give it to me now. <laughs> the and I was going to preface the pick with the greatest home run hitter of all time because he is. Congrats, you got him. I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I my forfeit. So now I'm down to just relief pitchers, which I don't even care in this league because Gibson doesn't come out of the games. Ryan doesn't come out of the games. Carlton doesn't come out of the games. Uh, Lee Smith, he's still out there, right? I'll take Lee Smith. He's yep. Out. <clears throat> Boy. Oh, that hurts. One homer every twelve at bats. That hurts. I gotta. Can I put this guy at first base? I think I can. Um. Yeah. Uh, my first baseman is going to be the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Oh. Oh man, great pick. What are you thinking about him for anything? Good pick. Real good pick. He was not on my list, so that was a bit of a uh, detour there for me. I think I will take my second baseman here and give me. You know, I got to write it in and give it to the announcer here. Give me Robinson Cano. He was actually my first second baseman until I saw Pete Rose he was, play second. He was my fourth. He was a beast. It's a good pick. 13th round. Joe, this is your you have two picks again. This is the last time you have two picks back to back. You have three picks, but this is the last time they're back to back. Last time they're back to back. Uh, well, I think I can 
I mean, if somebody takes that last reliever, reliever I have, even though statistically it's the correct choice, it, it would amaze me. So let's go with, oh my gosh. Let's go with Ozzy Smith at shortstop. Oh. Why don't you just if you took Derek Jeter and yeah, I just quit. You, him, just, you, you have just like quit. A, a you want to look up you want to look up some WAR numbers? You want to look up war. some OB, OPS numbers? What, what is, is it good for? Good for. for. She got Francisco Lindor. Wow, oh, eighty-seven OPS plus. Great job, Ozzy. What's his WAR? He's got almost seventy-seven WAR, but the guy twenty-eight okay, homers. Thanks. Like he's a he's a Raphael Belliard. Hey, who's your shortstop? Did a backflip. Cal Ripken Jr., why don't you say something about him? Yeah, he. what's he known for? Oh, I played the most games. Cool. Not good. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, slightly give above me, average. Hey, true. give me give me Cal Ripken and not Jr. Every day of the week. <laughs> uh, my uh, next pick is going to be my DH. It's going to be my last pick because I know nobody's taking this guy. Um, now see the thing with shortstop, I'll go on a little bit of a rant here because I don't know if we're at, why don't you, I don't know if we're at 30 minutes or if we're at an hour and 30 minutes, but, um, there's a shortstop out there with 130 war. There's a shortstop out there who has like a, like a baseball card that goes for $400 trillion. What team do you play for? Honus Wagner. What team do you play for, Corey? You don't play for a team because you're not good at baseball. How? <laughs> so I, I just want to say, I just want to say, Ozzy's got gold gloves. Anyway, um, and I could take him for DH. I might do that right here, huh? Should I take Honus Wagner, possibly the greatest hitter of all time, as a DH? Um, I think you should put Ozzy at DH. I can't believe Cooney took Mark McGuire as my as a DH. I'm also just going to go ahead and say every single one of your picks has been the greatest of all time. So the listeners are super confused. By the way. And probably don't believe anything you're saying. You also have to rank them well, up in 15. They will, at the end of the draft, be 15 <sighs> greatest of all times. Well, let me just throw <laughs> another one out there. This guy could could be the greatest player of all time. I didn't say greatest hitter. I said greatest player of all time. Oh, cool. is, um, is history still being wrote? Um, we might have to defer our judgment on him until later. Oh, I see where he's going. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's good. So for DH, I'll take Shohei Itani. If I need a spot start, baby, he's coming in. So Joe loses this, right? So we're playing for first, second, third. I ha- I do have a a way. To... I would I would love to like add up somehow calculate who wins this. I, I have, have an idea, but I need y'all. time to look at it. Like I can't. There's no way I could have got turned it around during this episode. So maybe we'll take straight a look. war. Woo. Yeah, I know war is not the best stat. All right, okay. Jared. Um. <clears throat> Listeners, my my friends, before we hopped over, before I hopped onto the pod, they were uh, talking about some idiot taking a certain player. And based on your guys' starting pitchers, I can just go ahead and just take the out with this guy. But we're talking about all-time defense behind the plate. Y'all ain't running on me. Give me Yachty. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, Pudge is out there, Bench is out there. Cool. And we're going to take, take Yachty. I yep. don't need him. I got I got Bob yeah. Joshua. I am going to take Johnny Bench <laughs> as my catcher. Bob I, th- I, I think historically the best catcher. You're probably right on that. Yep. I had Roy Campanello on my list, too. I I was <laughs> unaware if, that he was as dynamic as his stat show. So this is my last two picks. Is am I correct on this? Yes. yes. All right. Two relievers. This is who Joe is trying to save. So I'm going to steal another one of Joe's. It's going to be great. Uh, I got it. Right-handed reliever. Fifty <laughs> percent. Right-handed reliever. <laughs> uh, he's, on the, he's on the right track. Played for Oakland and St. Louis. Nope. No. Nope. Dennis guy, Eckersley. Yeah. Go with Eckersley. <clears throat> I I definitely researched him, but sorry. Um, and then 
I need a lefty in my pen, so get a little recency bias on here. Let me just let me just throw out some uh, stats here for this guy. His first run to Atlanta when he he was twenty four to twenty eight years old. His ERA plus was one thirty six, then one sixty, then three ninety three, then two thirty three, then one fifty three. The year he had a 393 ERA plus, which means he was four times better than any other reliever. He had a .98 ERA. Talking Eric O'Flaherty, uh -oh. steal of the draft. Best left-handed season pick. ever. Best left-handed season ever with a five-year peak. Better than Eric Gagne's one-and-a-half season peak. Uh, that's all I need. Um I'm filling out my rotation. I have a lot of guys still here. And I, uh, I mean, the all-time leader go with, in wins is there. Yeah, but that's not much fun. I'm going to go with uh, Doc Halliday. Give me a little Roy R.I.P. Roy Halliday uh, playoff no-hitter. We're talking about playoff performances. Playoffs. This is my last pick, yeah. It sure is. Save this best for last. I just want you guys to know before when uh, I phone a friend before doing this and asking for some help on a pick and um happened to be my lovely it's wife. It's not allowed. Oh. Yeah, hi Carrie. Uh told her we were doing this she draft and she, and she doesn't. Um I was like, I needed we're doing baseball players. And I said, Who would you pick? She gave me this name. <laughs> and at first I was kinda like, huh. But apparently, this is her favorite baseball player of all time. And surprisingly, if we're going off of some dominant just couple of years for this team, switch hitter, super beast, Lance Berkman as my DH. That's, I don't hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also not going to be all. mean to your wife. I mean, there's 600 other options that are better, but, you know, not bad. Are you mouthing my wife? No. 600 maybe. I would not do that. A little bold. Okay, 590. That's better. Thank you. Such a weird... Like, you talk about smooth lefty swings. That guy did not have one. Not that I remember anyway. He, like, hacked at it. Yeah. Go it was odd. Joe, you're the last pick in the draft. Last pick in the draft. Can Honus Wagner pitch? I don't think so. Is that, a, is that um, Ric Flair? Is that is that a? I will say my. I put a lot of research. Not a lot, you know. I don't do that stuff, but I put some research into these relief pitchers: the Eckersleys, the um, the Gagnes, the Hoffmans, the Wagners, and this guy. Can you just say Mitchell Boggs and move on? It's not Mitchell Box, but this guy's this guy's a little step above them all. I think he's, I think he's still going number one. Arthur Rhodes. He maybe his stats don't surprise you all because you're such baseball savants, but this guy's had a sneaky Hall of Fame career. Really racked up saves. All his other stats are pretty, pretty solid. More solid than some of the relief pitchers you all took. So I'm going to go with a guy named Kinley Jansen. Wow. That was my Kinley Jansen impersonation. You did okay. super old people except your relievers who are all current players. No, but there was no closers back in the day. Everybody pitched nine innings or died. Or I didn't seem to have a problem. <laughs> well, okay, I win. That was fun, guys. Thanks for playing. No, so I can we gonna, put this at OTP and simulate it somehow? Yeah, I mean, I think we could. Oh my goodness! Please do that. I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can do. I'll look into it. Yeah, uh, fourteen tournament of some sort. Yeah, um, I just I didn't ask to... our ask our ten to fifteen listeners who we think sure. would win. Mm -hmm. My dad would I be just, good insight into these names. I did, I did a quick one through nine on my lineup just to kind of feel like get a feel for the batting order. Uh, but uh, that's fun. Um, 
I mean, my batting order is the all-time leader in hits, followed by eight guys that have five hundred. Ichiro. Um, and I actually have Ichiro, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. My my brother, my brother would probably have some input if we could get him our full lineups. He would. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna China. side. He's gonna side with you. Don't hey, tell him. He's pretty unbiased. Give him the lineup before he watches this episode. Have him vote without telling him it's yours. Let's write down all four lineups. So here's can what I, we can do. Give it to give it to the people blind, Josh and a couple other people, and let them vote. That's a good idea. So here's what we can do: is so I'll do something here, and then you guys can just kind of copy what I'm doing, and then we can erase the names or something, and then we can we can send it off. So I'll fill out mine, and then you guys come in and and do the same. Just in the spreadsheet here. Yeah. So okay. just kind of something similar, which I will figure. I, like I mean, it. rotation's yeah. not that big of a deal. We could do this after the pod. <laughs> yeah, we could. Hey, everybody, but this is what we'll tight. do. Yeah, we'll. Uh, no, I didn't mean for you guys to do it right now. I was going to say do it on your <laughs> we own. We got time. a super efficient official um, way to do this. We'll but, get our uh, yeah. So we we'll, we will fill these out and we will send it. We could probably share it with uh, our bush ball as well and and have them vote. Yeah, there on, we go. Let them uh, vote. Do you like the emojis at the bottom say which you know one two three or four? See which ones mm -hmm. they think would be the yeah. Uh, we could the, get our bush ball lamps. community vote for it. It'd be twenty eight guys that know baseball. Yeah, so we'll that'll be. I, I have I have faith in them uh, making a an informed decision. At least I might not yeah. necessarily agree with everything that they say, but um, quickly we will get to huh? quick quickly. I um I just want to run through some names that didn't get picked. That was on my yes, list. That was something I wanted um, to to. Yeah, and listeners, as well. may, I'm sure you're thinking of some like, oh my goodness, how did they not pick so-and-so? So I guess I'll start if I'm talking over some of y'all's picks. I apologize, but um, all my first basemen were taken. Second base, I did have Joe Morgan. Mm -hmm. His numbers are outrageous. The Third second base. was an interesting spot. I had Biggio and Kent on there as well. Kent's the power guy. Biggio's a 3,000 3, hit guy. I had, also had Biggio. Morgan. Yeah, yeah. Biggio and Ryan Sandberg. Won an MVP, so eat it. <laughs> what else you got, Joe? Third base, uh, George Brett. I think you could argue he's definitely a top four third baseman. Um, and I, I had Nolan Arenado on my list. He's Chipper was my I, fourth, <laughs> my fourth third baseman. I was going to pick. So, Jay Lee, you're popping balloons now. What the heck, <laughs> dude? I don't know. I think you he's did a peace here. sign. Yeah, do it again. Th third <laughs> base, I had <laughs> guys. I'm. I confused. think. Zoom has picked the winner of the draft. Third, third base, I had Wade Box and Brooks Robinson also on my list. Yeah, Boggs, another um, elite contact guy. Um, Honus Wagner, I already mentioned, did not get picked at shortstop. That's pretty unbelievable. You look at his career stats. but Well, I got the best one, so it doesn't matter. Mike Trout? I thought somebody would take Mike Trout. He was did we, third did on my center fielders. There? Was he? Yeah, I, I had. I wrote one name because I know you guys wouldn't take him, so I took Griffey. Senior. Um, Ricky and left. Nobody took Ricky. I was going to. That, that I decided to grab Big Mac at DH instead. Boo. I had Josh Hamilton as my like sneaky, two good peak years left fielder. Frank Robinson's a name that just came to my head that nobody mentioned for anything. Yes. Brooks Robinson, oh. too. Yeah. Did um, somebody take my Brooke Robinson? No. no. He's on my list, though. Should have taken Frank over Manny. <laughs> my fourth shortstop, Simba. Pablo? Andrelton Simmons. Oh, yeah. Lindor was my we fourth. You couldn't chastise me for taking Ozzy then. Simmons is a better hitter than Ozzy. Simmons was not True. a good hitter. He was a better hitter than Ozzy. And so was Al yeah, Pools. I wrote. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> And I think he I was wrote, just as good at defense, that. but his career was shorter. But yeah, yeah, no, ahead, I, I think Simmons is the best defensive guy I've ever seen. Since I love defense, I I was gonna go two routes here, but I knew that you guys would just bad mother the entire time. Like I was just gonna go. I had a lineup that was just strictly defense, and Simmons Simmons did make that list for me. That's a fun. That's a, that could. That's a fun lineup. I appreciate that you did that. Couple pitchers I had: Cy Young. The all-time leader in wins and the name that the trophy's named after, and also uh, Sandy Koufax and Satchel Paige is a couple, couple yeah, that Koufax. were borderline. I could have taken over like Kershaw or somebody, but I didn't. I mean, again, if we keep talking about this, like 
one to two good years thing. Like that's what we based it off. I put Mad Max on my list too. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're going to span it five years, I found this really cool site that would had Total War and then like five year war, seven year war. Mm -hmm. um, you all probably stumbled across that sometime as well, but um, the Grom I think that... is in that conversation. If you're talking about five, seven years, yeah. Um, Sale, Lincecum. <clears throat> I'll say Chris Sale's a lefty reliever, but I don't think he did it enough. <laughs> Well, that's fun, guys. I mean, that's cool. I think one of the big DHs no one even thought about, but I, mean, I guess we had so many hitters to choose from. It was Big Poppy. We, we talked about. Yeah, we could time. use any <laughs> fielder. There was yeah, Poppy Falls. Pretty Jason quick. Giambi, I was on my list there. But, well, yeah. I mean, my number nine hitter's got eight hundred career home runs, so I think <laughs> I'm, allegedly. I'm what, uh, allegedly. So next week, hopefully, we'll have the results. An unbiased report ranking of our rosters from some of our friends of the pod. And we're going to talk Hall of Fame and any other big news. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of news that's dropped since last week. So uh, we'll wrap all that into next week's episode. But guys, pitchers and catchers report in a month. So it's going to start picking up pretty quick. So there's a lot of free agents still out there. Yes, sir. Um, a lot of talking. Mm -hmm. And there hasn't been as many trades as I thought there would be. So maybe that's going to happen later. Any final thoughts, guys, as we close this edition out? Let's have, let's see people do something. Teams, players, yeah. signs hey, of yeah. contracts. GM. Scotty, Alrighty. let your let your let your guys sign. They're not gonna get any bigger deals. Come on. Yeah, come on, Scott. Come on the pod. We'll tell you where they need to go and we'll fix it for you. Uh, until next time, don't forget to Right, right. Make it your, your position. position. I was talking about the batting order as well. Seems like we're just. Uh, I know I didn't want to do a batting order.